Mindy was not. <laughs> everybody for waiting so patiently and showing your support we really appreciate it i think the nerves are even more jittery back there now but it's a good thing so just let me welcome all of you and just a very brief introduction so that you know what you're watching um, first of all um, mr naz and i have done this for several years now this intimate theater as mr naz calls it theater in the raw because it's a very small audience very close to the stage and very simple, except the you know, microphones, the lighting, everything is just very basic. And so what we really try to focus on are the acting skills. And we work really hard to um, get voice projection and characterization and all those really important things going. And so the junior thespians who we're about to see perform have worked very hard to perfect these skills and they're very enthusiastic and so I'm sure you'll see that their efforts have paid off. But um, what Mr. Naz and I were talking about last night is all the different shows that we've put on here and we've had Nazi stormtroopers in here when we did the Diary of Anne Frank, we've had little fairies flitting around in A Midsummer Night's Dream and we've had several productions where we've combined the advanced acting class from the upper school with the junior thespians from the middle school. And it's been very successful. But this year we've tried something totally different. And we have challenged our upper school students, the advanced acting class, to actually write an original script. They used um, a Chichimura legend, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It's called How the Baby Saved Wild. And for those of you who are new to Guam or have forgotten the legend, it's the one about how the island got its shape and how where Cargo Bay and Aganya Bay, there's quite a narrow inlet. They believed that there was a giant rock-eating fish that was chomping away at the island and it was in danger of splitting it in two. But then the maidens did something amazing, which if you can't remember the legend, the junior thespians will remind you tonight. But the advanced acting class rose to the challenge and they've created this script from a basic story. They've made characters that are really colourful. They've worked on a plot that's got twists and conflict. They've got themes going through. And in fact, one of the major themes that they worked on was the idea that for a community to prosper, we need unity. And they kept that in mind all the time while they were working on it. Sacrifice, forgiveness, and unity. And so, with that said, the junior thespians took hold of it and you're about to see what they've come up with. So, thank you for waiting one more time and I proudly present the Maiden's Meet.
to be together. Trust me, Chris. If you call we me fiestas and redundant fishing trips, Father, Father, I made you this necklace for good. Not now, daughter. If I were chief of the island. <laughs> Many 
and that way the great Tiffin, my way is far out. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs>
small town. That was something as powerful as you. Yes. I see the work you have already done as this rock has gone far. If you eat all the way through the island, to the other side, I mean, then I will offer you protection. Protection? Ha! I don't need protection. Those idiots will never catch me. Anyway, why would they want to? What harm could I do? None, except split this island in half and allow me to take control. That's why the hardest vocal people of the island must leave you alone. They are a small way and do not realize their mistake behind the summons to find you. They may be fools, but believe me, they will eventually catch you. I feel so victimized. I'm just a poor famished fish, only needing mere land masses to sustain my hunger. Right then, you'll eat, and I'll keep watch. Mind, you are still trying to be discreet, got it? Oh, that rock. I cannot wait. Wait, why do people even need rock to live on? Why can't they just swim? Imbecile. All right. No harm done. I'll eat. You got a deal?
We must unite to catch the fish that are destroying our island. If we could all work together, I believe we could come up with something really great. Is that all right? Hot knees, Tilai. How could someone like you possibly know what to do in such a chaotic situation? You don't even know how to speak to anyone. Why? Do you have an idea as well? Well, I, I let to not speak. Anyways, the men's attempts to catch the fish are good, but are not working out. I believe a different approach, meaning a woman's approach, could help catch the fish. Well, what do you suppose we do? Yeah, what could we do? I have a plan. Meet me back here at Pablo Bay. And, yeah. Talai, I'm sorry for the way I treated you during the meeting, and at other times on top of that. I feel as if I've been rude, and I would just like to apologize. I mean, you don't have to apologize. I mean, why are you, you don't have to apologize. I mean, thank you. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think they'll really catch the fish? 
fish. Of course not. <laughs> Do you think we will? Of course. We're men and tough. <laughs> Let's go get that fish. Those crazy women. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Where can I 
express how proud I am of all of you. Show me where you got the fish. Oh, oh, what is that? Stop it! What is this noise? Why are you even acting fit? Let me be trying to catch the fish. Hey! You call it protection? It was his idea for me to eat the island. Fish is dying from a lack of water. Pay no attention to what it says. It is a liar and a coward who will bring that in crazy guy who says no punishment. Liar! It was you who told me to eat the island and split it in half! You made that point clear. What? What? Yeah, why? Traitor! He won't go on season! Why did you do it? I did it because I wanted to take over my stupid little village. I thought I could do a better job. If you felt that you could do a better job, then why did you come for and tell me? Well, if you wanted to run the village, you could have asked me and I would consider it. But since you decided to try to show our island, I think an adequate punishment is important. Punishment? What kind? My father didn't really harm anyone and his plan didn't work. So it won't be a bad punishment, right? What would you care what happens to me? I can see you beside your eye. Father, what you did was wrong. When I overheard your plan, I should have tried to speak to you, but you never listened to me. I just don't want you to do any more wrong, because I love you. I'm on your side. What have I done? I never realized how much you care. You know I do care for you. You should never be afraid to come to me for anything, even if it is something I'm doing wrong. Look, here's the necklace you made me. I get it with me always. Now I work with her. My teacher, to admit fault and ask for forgiveness takes a strong character. I always thought you were stubborn, but I stand corrected. What you did was destructive and senseless, but I will forgive you for your sin. Because now it is clear that we can live together as a united community. Who was the house father? I love you too, Nanny. Thank you, Lana, for your kindness. How can I ever repay you? You can uh, offer me advice on how to run the village. <laughs> you will also promise me never to try a scheme like this again, or we will punish you. I accept. I promise. Thank you so much. So, what do we do with the fish? What? You forgot about me? How could you? Oh, fish. How can we forget about you? You ate our island, and she deserves capital punishment for it. Let's eat it! Nonsense! <laughs> Martina has come to terms with his mistakes. I think our sister <coughs> will as well. We are all a part of one island. I am one sea. And the fish is a part of it as well. What do you say, fish? I am so touched that you may think about forgiving me. I ate your island and changed its shape forever. But worse, I nearly destroyed your harmony and unity. Well, how can I make up for what I've done? You guys are so, so kind and together. This unity makes me miss my family terribly. Family? <laughs> you mean there are more fish like you? Yeah. Mom. <gasps>
right. And thanks to all of us, I think women's ideas will be valued a lot more in the future. Yeah, I've got a feeling a long time from now, people will be hearing about how the maidens saved Guahan.
God, they told Jesus to do not honor the person. <laughs> just made everything okay. possible. <laughs> um, if, uh, if, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to our director, Miss Jenny Bowden. <laughs>